In this video, we're going to show you the actual drawing process I use to create a drill using the Hockey Share Drill Diagrammer. The first thing I do when I create my drills is I drag all the players onto the surface right where I want them to start. So in this case, I need four defensemen and I also need four forwards. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick here uh, with F3 and F4 when we get them on the surface. Uh, they're going to actually run the same thing from the opposite side, but I only want to draw one side. So I'm going to highlight both of them by holding down Command or Control on a PC and clicking on them, and then I change the color to gray. And that just sort of sublimates them so they're there for reference, uh, but they don't distract me while I'm uh, drawing the rest of my drill. So next, what I do is I like to draw the skating pattern. In this case, we're going to use the pen icon down there, the freehand drawing tool, and we're going to draw his entire skating path uh, till drill completion. We're going to drag the arrows onto the end of the line. You'll see they snap right into place. Don't have to align them anything. Uh, second player I like to draw in a different color just again helps keep, keep them separate when I'm looking at the drill quickly. Um, especially if I'm on the bench I can just take a quick glance and it's easier for me to see a particular pattern somebody's supposed to be skating. Uh, again I'm going to use the freehand uh, drawing tool here and we're going to finish him out. That's the two-on-one portion of this drill. It's right at the end here. Um, I want to add a note for F2 because F2 actually starts delayed. He's got to time his start so we're actually going to add just a text note in here real quick uh, noting that it's a delayed start. So do that, drag that over a little bit and next we're going to add in some passes. So here's where kind of the drill actually starts to take shape. I like to keep the passes the same color as the skating line. Uh, so in this case it's F1's in black so he's going to give a pass to D1, get it right back. Get the arrow there, and we're going to make another pass over to D2 right away. And D2 is going to end up going D to D. He's going to make a pass across. So let's see here. Pass across, and then D1 is going to return it right up to F2, who's got that delayed start. So he'll be in the middle of the ice when he gets that pass. Um, next, I want uh, F2 to headman the puck back up to F1, who's cutting up the wall. So we'll make that pass line in green, again, just to differentiate it a little bit. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to add in the defensive skating pattern here. And we're going to add him in black, so he's going to come up, D4 is going to jump up, curl to the inside of the ice, uh, pivot backwards and play the rush two on one. We're going to use the merge line tool. You saw that I just click there and what that'll do is it'll join our lines together. So the forward and the backward skating line now you can see if I move this point around they, they move together. So this D is going to skate back. He's going to play that two on one rush back. You click save and that's it. So now you've got a fully functional drill that you can use in any practice. Uh, or, or reference any time without losing a sheet of paper. You've got it. It took less than three minutes to draw from start to finish, and it's yours forever. Thanks for watching.